Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I may be reached on 781-380-8888 for specific commentary on today's ideas or any questions you have about any general thoughts about our direction in through here. Uh, gold ETFs had a plus 2.8 million ton metric tons uh, inflow on Friday. That gives a 53.2 tons metric uh, inflow on a month to date. That's the highest level it's been since August 8th. Uh, we feel gold is trading in a weak technical zone, but we're going to stick to our 1800 forecast, 18 and a half forecast uh, for December 1st. There's so many things that go wrong between now and then uh, that we expect that the, uh, gold is going to trade in reaction to that. Uh, in addition, we're part of the reason that we're seeing gold likely to go up and ETF inflows to increase is that the fiscal policy mess in the United States, uh, now people are starting to realize that it's quite unlikely that there will be any resolution of the uh, uh, trillion dollar deficit, et cetera, in the foreseeable future. Uh, because we're entering an election season after the election, depends on who comes in, who, who, who goes out, uh, as to what direction we have. And either way, it's not likely that the Democrats are, if the Democrats win, that they're going to win with some convincing <laughs> mandate. It's more likely that they're going to win, uh, you know, 52-48, and that means 52% of the people are willing to pay more taxes and 48% are not. Uh, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of talk in the, the blogosphere about Tea Party people not being willing to pay taxes. I think that's structurally correct because they're being lied to all the time uh, by the ruling class. Now, uh, as to the euro, uh, the part of the problem with euro is that uh, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. There is no firewall. There is no commitment that says this is going to go this far and no farther. So when the Spanish situation arises, and the Spanish situation, of course, like the Italian situation, is caused directly by the failure of the prime minister and the government to address problems that were pointed out to them three or four or five years ago, uh, that now that there's a different government in, in Spain, they're still, it's going to take them a while to do stuff. Uh, and there are other, other uh, problems that are going to occur. Uh, and so as the spreads widen, I mean, is France the next problem? So people are seeing no hope of the resolution of the European matter. Uh, right now, uh, if you wanted to uh, invest 10 million euros in a uh, bank, it would cost you $300,000 to buy insurance for a five-year note. Uh, so people are unwilling to do long-term funding. Short-term rates, the spreads are widening. I'm talking about interbank lending rates. Uh, so euro banks uh, have obviously increased their holdings in dollars, but they're costing the European banks more and more money. Right now, if you wanted to be at a European bank and you wanted to buy dollars, it's costing you 1.3%. So in other words, you give up $100, 100 euros uh, on being structurally not mathematically correct. It's going to cost you 1.3 percent okay, of, uh, of the face value of your euros, which is a historic high. Uh, lastly, there are fewer options to solve the situation. Um, in other words, last time they lowered interest rates and pumped in liquidity. Now there's plenty of liquidity and interest rates are low. So there are not a whole lot of ways that this problem can be solved in the short term. I'm going to repeat Angela Merkel's view that this is a decade-long problem. Uh, our view is in the middle, get some high income, get some fixed income yields, and buy gold. You're going to be very happy over the near term and the long term if you're a gold owner. And we're sticking to our 2000 buy the first of the year prediction. So this is Arnie Waters. We're looking right at the ice flows. We're looking at the trouble spots. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a nice day and keep swinging.